Good morning, people. Watch him at 65, Lisa Voice. I'm on early because I have to take Zach to get his driver license, his driver's license. He's taking his test today, so pray for him. And plus, I have to get the car service. So, but let me give you a uh, verse. It's in Proverbs 35. Every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. Like I've been saying, he's a shield. And that's the word. That's confirmation. When you accept Christ as Savior, he shields you. He protects you. Like I said, all this stuff that's happening right now, it is a precursor to what's coming. We're not going to see a lot of this stuff until after. We're not going to see any of this stuff. We're seeing what's coming. I do believe the Lord will take us out of here, the church. So, there, that's better. So, with that being said, let me give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, period. Not of ourselves, not of works, <clears throat> at least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, you and I are whosoever, believe in him, will not perish, but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ, the moment you accept Christ as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus, rapture ready, which is going to happen at any time and sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot lose your salvation you will not the holy spirit will indwell in you the holy spirit will lead you guide you the holy spirit will minister to you speak to you teach you all of that the holy spirit will change you now yesterday i guess russia did perform their test this is off of war news 24 7 so russia conducts its first nationwide nuclear war drill simultaneous alert in moscow and Washington. So, global concern is caused by simultaneous nuclear war exercises in the U.S. and Russia with the images coming from Russia cities being chilling. They got the gas mask on. So, I am definitely, <clears throat> you're going to see this when I link this article in the description box. So, it says Russia is preparing the entire population for the worst case scenario. For this purpose, Moscow is proceeding for the first time with nuclear exercises at a nationwide level. So we didn't hear anything about Russia yesterday. This came out this morning. It says the Russian exercise involves 11 different time zones and simulates the consequences of a nuclear war. Unlike previous exercises that have been conducted by the region, this nationwide exercise will anticipate a predicted destruction of 70% of Russian homes and critical life support systems. I had been doing something on this the past few days, talking about this. It says the scenarios are based on the possibility of martial law being declared in the event of an attack. And there's quite a few videos down here too. It says um, Russia carried out. Russia has carried out a nationwide test, public emergency systems, activating sirens and interrupting some television and radio programs to ask citizens to remain calm. The test first carried out in 2020 is part of a new initiative that requires authorities to carry out checks twice a year starting on September 1st. So around 10.40 a.m. Moscow time, sirens sounded in parts of Russia while warning um, while uh, warning announcements were made. 
It said, attention everyone, readiness of warning systems being checked. Please remain calm. That was the message being broadcast. When you hear of when you hear the sound of sirens, you must remain calm and do not panic. Turn on television, any public accessible channel or radio, and listen to the information uh, message. The Ministry of Emergency said in a statement. The warning system is designed to transmit a timely signal to the population in the event of a threat of an emergency due to a natural or man-made phenomenon. That's what it said. <clears throat> so, I guess yesterday they did carry out their test for the citizens there. Now, again, like I said last night, and I'm going to make this clear. Do I believe a nuclear war is going to happen? Yeah. Do I believe it's going to happen before the rapture? No. I do believe it's going to happen during the Great Tribulation. Now, I said this last night, and I'm going to say it again. The book of Revelation talks about, Ezekiel talks about Gog, the war of Gog and Magog. We're seeing the setup of that war right now. The book of Revelation talks about that war happening right before the second coming of Christ. Right before the Battle of Armageddon. This is being in preparation of this. Now, let me explain something else to a lot of people. When we're raptured, <laughs> there is no more time. Time will not exist anymore. I'm going on a, I'm taking this up on a, another notch. We won't have no recollection of time, period. Time will cease to exist when we're raptured, when we're in front of the Lord. So those seven years that are going to happen are going to go just like that. Just like that. It's going to be, to them down here, it's going to be slow. <laughs> but to us, everything is going to happen. It's going to be different. Let's put it like this. It's going to be different. The second coming of Christ is when the church comes back with Christ. You know what? All the movies that they make about the rapture and all these uh, like left behind movies, no one has made a movie about the millennium. I am waiting to see a movie about the millennium. I've always been interested in that. Because it's going to be unlike a time we can't even comprehend. You cannot even comprehend what's going to happen. Because your mind won't take you there. You can imagine. But it's going to be totally different. What we're seeing right now with all these wars and all this fear mongering is preparation for all of that. All of this, I believe, is going to take place in the Great Tribulation. It says here, uh, state and regional offices were given the responsibility of organizing emergency rescue teams and ensuring protection from radioactive materials. They were also given authority over food and medical supplies. These measures are part of Russia's st strategies to increase the readiness of civil defense forces during a nuclear conflict. In addition, preparations are underway for a nuclear explosion test in the Arctic Circle. Now, I mentioned that the other day. Russian Defense Minister uh, Sergei Shugo recent, uh, recent visit to uh, Zamalia in August further indicates that testing could resume very soon. The aim of the Russian test is to, is to evacuate the warning systems, the readiness of personnel responsible for their activation and to increase public awareness. The U.S. also conducting a large-scale trial of public warning systems via mobile phones and television and radio stations. And the purpose of the U.S. test is to ensure that the systems continue to be effective in warning citizens in emergency situations 
particularly at the national level. The federal, uh, the FEMA said in a statement, it says, um, many other countries have been testing and I just got word that India had a test as well. So I'm gonna link this in the description box and I will be back later. Again, pray for Zach, he's taking his driving test today. So thank you.